Welcome back. Long considered by many as one of the prettiest little ballparks in North America, Nat Bailey Stadium is one of Vancouver's hidden gems. But as Chandler Gree found out, the Nat is getting a makeover. GM Place was hosting playoff hockey and BC Place no longer has the big white dome. But another stadium in Vancouver is also making some headlines this spring. Historic Nat Bailey Stadium is getting a facelift. The home to the single-A Vancouver Canadians is approaching its seventh decade of hosting minor league baseball in the city and currently is undergoing some major off-season upgrades around the park. Trevor Sheffield, the assistant manager of the grounds crew at the Nat, says the additions will help modernize the stadium. From the stadium standpoint, we've got, uh, finally we've got some new lighting coming in, so we're actually going to have lighting that's up to professional baseball grade. We're going to get all the new stands, all the new poles are getting put in basically as we speak. Uh, on top of that, the big uh, change for the fans is we have a new video board being put in for the first time. So uh, we'll finally be able to run you know, videos, replays, pictures of the players with stats alongside it, all that kind of thing that's been missing from this ballpark for so long, we're finally going to have it. Rob Fay, the voice of the Vancouver Canadians, says despite the upgrades, the old ballpark will be sure to keep its roots. The concourse remains as is. Uh, they built it to 1951 spec when they did the renovation, so when you still walk into the stadium, it still feels like your grandfather uh, was walking in with you. Um, again, we've still got the manual operated scoreboard. Yes, we have a video board outside of Citibank Field, which is uh, in New York where the Mets play. This is the second highest resolution scoreboard in a baseball facility, minor league or major league. So we're really excited about that. So it's kind of a mix of the young and the old in the fact that we still have the 13 year old kid out in center field putting the slats for the scoreboard out there. Uh, but right to his left, we've got a pretty cool little feature as well. Now with these new upgrades to the ballpark, Vancouver Canadians management hopes that the Nat built way back in 1951 can keep that old time feel while getting with the times. Chandler Grieve in Vancouver for VCIG Magazine. The beach volleyball season has just begun, but members from the Kitsilano Beach Volleyball Association are already out in full force thanks to founder and president Jim Clive. Kareen Grierson takes to the sand. Kitsilano Beach is the home to players from the Kitsilano Beach Volleyball Association. Jim Clive, the founder and president of KBVA, has dedicated his life to developing and promoting amateur beach volleyball. In 1978, uh, myself and about 20 other uh, players started beach volleyball in Vancouver. And uh, actually, we could not play in the sand because there's a bylaw, no balls allowed on the sand. So we played behind the concession in the grass. And then in 1979, we moved to the beach. That's probably the start of beach volleyball in Vancouver, in British Columbia. It started here at Kitts Beach. And what do the Kitts Beach Volleyball players think of Jim? And, uh, and there's, there's tournaments like uh, held by him in, uh, and they're for the players, by the players. It's for the players, by the players. All the money that I get, it's a money tournament, all the money I get goes towards the players. I don't take a cent for running it or doing it. I'm giving back to the sport. That's been very good to me. Although Jim has dedicated his life to the association, he still manages to find time to play his favorite sport. I've been playing since 1966. So I've played in the World Masters, I've played in U.S. Masters. It's been a, it's been a good thing and I am continue doing it. Thank God I can still play. A little bit. Not as good as I used to. <laughs> At least I'm out there playing. Jim's passion for the sport is obvious, as in founding the KBVA, he has touched the lives of countless people around him and will continue to do so for many years to come. Kareen Grierson in Kitsilano for BCIT Magazine. Gym memberships in Vancouver can be a bit pricey. Reporter Casey Snow headed outside to find some free and fun alternatives. Personal trainer Lewis Morrison shows us how to work out without burning a hole in your pocket. Just by getting off the sofa, you will burn more calories, you're going to get fitter and you're going to feel a whole lot healthier. Gym memberships can be costly and with Vancouver being full of parks and public space, you might find an outdoor workout to be more challenging and rewarding. Half an hour on the road versus half an hour on the treadmill, no comparison. The HSC will make things a little bit more expensive, but the one thing that you can get for free is exercise by just utilizing the outdoors and getting out with a buddy. 
So right now we're going to just use a simple park bench. It's ideal for step ups. When you're outside like this and you got mountains and ocean, it's uh, it's pretty nice to go down to the beach and just get some fresh air. We do have things like the park bench or a chair or a step. You can use that to elevate the upper body and make it a little bit easier. Casey Snow in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine. Casey, are there any other benefits to exercising outdoors? Gareth, there are lots. Not only do you get to enjoy the beautiful weather outside, but you can use it as a social aspect as well. This time of year, there's lots of boot camps, hiking clubs, and even running clubs. But if you're looking to save some money, you can always just go down to your local park or beach where you're always going to find people working out. Casey, if people are looking to start exercising for the very first time, what should they keep in mind? Start slow. Outside is a great place to do low impact exercises like walking, a hike, even a bike ride. This is a good way to test what level you're at. And remember to listen to your body because at the end of the day, you have to live in it. If you have any questions or comments regarding this program, please visit us online at www.bcitbroadcastnews.com or bcit-broadcast.com. I'm Natalie Langston, along with Gareth Maddock-Jones, and that was today's BCIT Magazine. Thanks for watching.